finished painting my character, and he looks a little bit strange, and that's because inside my network, or my node view, I have some layers that are not quite um, layered properly on the composite. Now, if, we, if you haven't really had that much experience with composites, the right side is the very bottom of the composite, and the left side is the top. For instance, let's say I wanted to move all of these hair levels back, and I can see that there is the hair composite right there. If you're ever wondering what is attached to a composite, you can always open up the thumbnail, and that shows me the hair, and I'm going to close that. And I know that the hair should be at the very bottom. It should be behind the head. So I can take that hair and move it to the very bottom. And now you can see it's sort of sitting where you think it would normally be sitting. I'm going to take this little face patch. And the nice thing is if I select something, I can see which cable it is. I'm going to start moving that to the right until things start showing up. And I can see that that should be all the layers of the head. My ear, I might want to move that to the very bottom. And now you can see that my head makes a bit more sense. Now, of course, I have to fix the eyes and, and do a little bit of um, cleaning up of the hair and whatnot. But the layers are working. Let's take a look at my arms. Well, this entire arm needs to be at the front of the body. So I'm going to find the arm, and if we look around the, the network, most of our composites are labeled. So this is the left arm comp, so I know that's not it. And this could be my right arm comp. Now I know this needs to be at the very top of my character, so I'm going to go to the upper body comp and move it all the way up there. Now, while we're at the arm, Let's just take a look at how we can make this arm look right. I know that the cuff, by pressing O, if I want to find anything in the network, let's say I want to find this, this, this arm, I just select it and move my arrow into this window and hit O, and it takes me right to it. But I think that I've covered that in an earlier video. So I'm going to take this O, and I'm going to move this on, on top of the arm, and maybe make it look like that. I'm going to do the same with this one. And we're going to get rid of these lines and whatnot later, but you just basically go through and try to make things make sense. Maybe I'll move the hips to the very bottom. And I'm not sure if I painted those hips. No, I didn't. So let's just take our spacesuit gray and paint those. And I'm going to move back to my node view and find that. And there's my hips. I know I want them behind the legs for the time being. I'll move those over here. And I'm going to move these boots a bit forward. Okay. So now everything's starting to look right. We have reorganized all of our layers inside the composite so that they're looking a little bit more correct. Actually, we have one more to do. This entire arm should be at the very bottom. So let's just find that composite. I want it to be at the very bottom of the character, so I can actually just take it, move it to this composite, which is our main composite to our character. And now the entire arm is sitting behind the body. Whoops, and now we have one more thing I actually just see. The belt, I want to have come forward, and the belt buckle will follow that down and move it up. And we'll, we'll, we'll take care of this, uh, let's see if I can move that down a little bit. What happened when I put it there? Okay. Fine. That seems like it's all kind of working. So now we've reorganized all of our comps, and in the next video we will talk about how to auto-patch things. All right, thank you very much. See you in the next video.